He says it's about relieving government gridlock. We're hearing from Mayor Garnett Johnson of a bill just filed that would give him an equal vote on the Augusta Commission. Our Sydney Hood live from our newsroom tonight to break down what it would mean and what happens next. Right now, the mayor only votes when there is a tie, but that could change soon. This bill just introduced in the. One commissioner abstained to vote, preventing a tie, meaning the mayor could not vote to break it. So far, only five commissioners are on board for changing the way commission has operated for the last 26 years. But the mayor says this will allow for the city to grow and work quicker to provide better services instead of playing politics. It takes forever to get some of the simplest decisions made. We have all the challenges of uh, things that impact the health and safety of our constituents, like ambulance service. Yet we're deadlocked on some of the simplest things. And uh, I, I believe that uh, this referendum, if approved by the voters, or at least given to the voters, gives us an opportunity to make effective change. The bill requires a binding referendum, which is just a fancy way of saying after state lawmakers approve it, approve it, Richmond County voters, you get the final say. That vote could happen as early as November, but before we get there, this bill has to pass through the state Senate, the state House of Representatives, and make its way to Governor Kemp's for signature. All right, so a long process, but maybe it'll be up to the voters by November. Thanks a lot, Sydney, for the update from our newsroom. Going to give you